I'm going live right now. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. This is me, Nancy. Welcome to Glitz Assassin Slash Live Tutorial, and welcome to a brand new live tutorials. And happy Saturdays. Hope you all have a fabulous day. And thank you so much for tuning in. Let me give me one second, really quick, really quick, sharing it to everyone. Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. And here's a look of the nails we did it last night. If you miss it, don't worry. I save all the videos on our IGTV. You can definitely always go back and re-watching them. If you are, have any questions or wonders what products I'm using, I did have a post and also is tag all the products as well for you. And also you can also DM us if you need any question regarding to the products to our team or you need to find a link to get the right corrects or the right uh, products. Let us know. Hello. Do I need to get my gel products out? Yes. Bellis, hello, Brazil at Bellis Nail. She's one of our brand ambassadors. Hi, Dom. Hi, Danny. How are you and the baby? A lot of kisses to you and your baby. And hello, Chase. How are you? Hi, Whitney. Let me see. I want to say hi to everyone before we start. Um, Charisma Beauty, hello. How are you? Hi, Jasmine from Facebook. How are you? Happy Saturday. How are you? All right, so gel polish I'm going to use is really cool, simple, and easy. Well, this is a look of yesterday. I'm going to move it on the side so we can start with our fun nails today. It's going to be really cool and it's really simple, easy, easy on earth. I'm saying it. I mean it. So let's, hey, pay Vish. Did I say it right? I hope I, I say it right. Hi, Corey. How are you? Oh, you got your sub up. Did you get your sub up with your shipping uh, with your products? Yes. Awesome. So good because Jasmine sub two boxes. That's awesome. You always have um, so many nail art. So just a really good news. The new box is going to be released on April 12th, which is only two days from today. And if you want the box for this month, which is April, because we're always like going one month ahead. So then you always have a really cool uh, product to play and to get ready before is a fun event or special holidays coming. So the next box is April 12th. You are going to see the brand new box. We'll ship it to you if you are sub with us. So now... The next box is going to be so beautiful. You definitely don't want to miss it. I don't know. Every single box is so beautiful. So definitely you don't want to um, miss it. And also you are going to see our brand ambassador team go unboxing so many different boxes. So I'm so excited. Hi, Laurie. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Hi, China Nails. How are you? So we have a so awesome we have it so awesome. All right. Oh, Zoe, I love my subscription box. I use little gummy bear already. It's just so awesome, Zoe. It's so good to hear. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for the love and support. We are working hard every day to make sure that we'll bring the best value to you. Not only a product, also a lot of tutorials. Like we have over a thousand tutorials right now. You are absolutely have the right to access it to it anytime, every single time, 24-7. So this is there for you from a lot of, like, really a passion and dedication from not only us, from our team. So shout out to our amazing brand ambassador team. It's can't, the words can't describe how, like, really try hard they did, and they did amazing. So we have a few of them. Here we have Brazil at Bellis Nails. We have Hey Dom, uh, Do My Nails, and we have China's uh, China Nails. I hope I don't miss anyone here. I see China. I see, uh, hold on. Let me see if I miss anyone. I have Dom. I have China's. I have, I think that too, and Brazil. 
So, okay, let's get started. And our team have like eight random ambassadors. So just, you know, if you have a chance to follow them, make sure you do so because they give out so amazing and each of them have a so unique and niche content. So it's really amazing. I am so excited. And uh, let's get started. So I have is really cool. It's really pigmented colors, which is I'm using a number six, which is aqua. And if you don't like to swatch, you so busy, don't have time to swatch, just the colors for you. So is the swatch on the top already. And I put out the number 11 neon pink. And then I did, of course, the yellow sun. One drop here and then is number 10, which is neon green. So on the base I did, well, I'm going to show you how I created this cool look though from our gel painting. Uh, I'm sorry, gel polish because our gel polish is so pigmented. You can do some really fun, cool nail arts. It's really super easy, simple, even for beginner nail tech. I promise if you're watching this video, you're going to have so entire the cool ideas that what you can do with a lot of fun design. So um, the base I did also, I did is like this one. I believe it number 19 is a uh, light snoot. And then it's number 20, number 22. Number 22 is um, base nude. And that's how you see me have this to look. But doesn't matter whatever, you can even do white, which is pure white. Underneath is absolutely fine. Okay, so I have two of this on this side. So I'm going to show you the same how I created this cover, fun cover, a tie dyes, marble looks, or however you want to call it. It's going to be really cool and fun. And I'm not sure if you can able to do with your gel polish. But I'm for sure that you can definitely eat with Gliss gel polish because the pigment is so pigmented. And the consistency is so stunning. So then when you are playing, even when you polish this one coat, is absolutely is, is solid and opaque. So, yes, gel polish is make it easy. So let's get started. And then I'm playing with this, just as you know. A little a puff, you know, like a sponge. I'm using on this one. So, it's not suggest to wash it. I don't think it's going to wash off. But by the way, so when you want to change this one, because one pack, I just took it out here, but I put it in a tray. One pack come with two um, end, and then one is like a two-pointed one, and one is a flattened one. So, like, you have to hold six of them. But you just need to remove it, like, really gentle, and then you change it. This is really stunning. Even like if you don't have your fusioning, for instance, or you don't have anything else, you can definitely do this and make it so cute and stunning like marbling, tie dyes, or whatever you call it. Why don't we use this one? That's how I create that looks. Super simple, easy. Okay. But don't do what he did. He tried to change and <laughs> look what I did. Don't pull this one out, or you might rip it off. You want to pull the base out. Okay, so don't get it accident like he did it. He tried to did it and change, but he pulled the the head off. Okay, so it's really cool, but I'm gonna move this one using other so then you can see. It's really cool though. I love this. I don't even try to rip it off. He's running away. So, oh, it's not me. It's not me. It's running away. That's what he it did. It's killing one of my heads. So don't let your husband um, coming around when you are doing nail art. Because I don't think it's going to be helpful though. Ask something else. Maybe not, not this. So... Let creatives look together so you have one one coat or two co two coat of the gel colors like a light base as you prefer, and then we can place with this um look. It looks like more like tie dye to me, I think. And I put some veins on it. Well, you can do a black veins, and then with the 
Golden Touch Gel Polish. <laughs> Jasmine, yes, I was like looking for super glues. <laughs> I think he's like, oh, so cute. And then he's like, he tried to pull, I think he tried to help and get this instead of get this base out. He pulled it all completely, the head off. Not good. So, all right, so let's get started with this two colors. I think I'm using number 23, baby pink, um, sorry, baby blue. And then the number 22, which is base nude. I'm loving these two colors. Hey, Panda! How are you? <laughs> I'm so trying to watch it, Mom. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Oh, yes. That's right, Jasmine. It's almost watercolors. Hello, everyone. Hi, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, <laughs> snuggles. Right? I know. I would do that. He's like, oh, and then he's pull it off and his ran away it's, it's not me not me i didn't do it so now so it doesn't matter what color you pick for it is no wrong or right way to doing it you probably can play a couple time and then if you're doing it your tie dyes is usually it's coming a different look it's not going to be like identicals because you're blending it out so you're gonna do it's just pick just pick smaller you can see right just really tiny and then you can dab it but it's so amazing that it does blend so well pick up a little bit more now you can dab it However you want to, um, your design look. All right. So now I'm going to using the same one, the same sponge, but I'm going to do on the edges. So they're not going to contaminate. Dab it in. And I'm not keying anything at all, okay? Is it just on the top of gel color, no top coat? Yes, you are absolutely right. So I didn't put any top coat yet because if you do top coat, they are not going to um, able to get a little bit something on it, the little hair or something, but I'm not worried about I'll get it later. And I'm going to pick the green, neon green. You can like you can dab it to wherever you want. And then just really gentle like you don't basically you do not have to um I don't think you have to really work hard with this. I'm having so much fun playing with this. All right. Next, I'm going to pick, pick in the different colors, which is aqua. Pick up more. And you can blend it however you would like. Go back and blend.
Yes, you just do a gel polish on the gel polish. It's, it was actually bonded really well. I think I just had a little, like a fur right there, but I'm not worried about it. Just pick it out. And now if you're happy with this, you keep it. I'm not worried about this because I'm put some cute vins on it or weaver gels on it. So let here for 60 seconds. And just from the gel polish to gel polish, I didn't put any top coat yet. Just two coat of the number 22. Hold on, I'm sorry. Baby blue, number 23. And then I using four colors. However, you can do so many colors. You can use a variety of out of 28 colors that Glitz has. I have a nice on this really cute one too. You can even use like number three fancy blue. And then actually as you can do this with like making it cool ombre for the nails as well. But ta-da, yes. Ta-da! Brazil, did you finish that? So here's the few looks I did. That's using these four colors, but you can using any colors on the um, Gliss Collection 28 colors. It will create it so funny. Fun, beautiful, it's super simple and easy. Trust me, try that, use this. It's just like, I'm not sure if you're using with other gel polish, it will be running for you. It's not gonna bond and it's grip it right away. But for Gliss gel polish is bam, it just ta-da. That's how um, Brazil just say, just try one, and then you will see exactly what we're talking about. So this one, you can either do it with a weaver gels, or you can do one with um, veining. So I have the weaver gel there. I'm gonna show you how we can able to create it this. I'm gonna move this just temporary out, and we're gonna do another one, so then you won't feel like it's too difficult and promise it's not at all. It's so much of fun to play with. Okay. So I have like a little sticks. I put five of them and using your Scott tips, tip it together. So you can get like a five streaks at the same time. And it depends on if you want to do it's really thick line Then you pick more. Do I? I'm gonna flash key really quick. Sorry, I've moved my hand. He's not supposed to move. You shouldn't move my hand though. Hey Jasmine, those are two pick. Just all you need to do, just tape about three, four of them together. And you can have your line. Super fun and easy. And then you can do more than one colors of your weaver gels. The our weaver gel is really stringy. It's not going to. Um, oh, I like that a lot. Ta-da! Another. All right, so now we're gonna cure for 60 seconds. You can put so many colors. Our 16 color of weaver gel, you can put however you would like. You can do like, and you keep in mind that if you're using this, I'm just sharing with you with the springtime, but when it's in different seasons, for instance, if you can use this um, techniques for any seasons, like July 4th is coming, summertime's coming. You can using a white and blue to create a summertime look. And then it's like holiday, which is like all the holidays. You can see that we, we're definitely going to do that throughout the year so you can see how easy you can create it. Now it looks really cool and super easy to do with the um, background for you already. All right, so that's one. I'm gonna wait for this. And now it's really, it's up to you to do, you can do crystal placements. 
you can add uh, crystals on it and you can do crystal placements and or you can add stickers if you decide to do a stickers on um which you can add like any flowers of butterflies i think it looks super cute as well so for instance let me do one nails which is this one with stickers only and we're gonna do is top coat first if you decide to do stickers put the top coat first and cure for 60 seconds so then make sure this going to cap completely nice and shiny so then your your stickers will actually adhere so much better Oh my god look at that 5d gels i mean 5d um stickers so cool how's everyone doing so far snuggle because when you have the top coat on what it does is will grab your stickers so much better so when you when you place your stickers on it just suck your sticker right into the top coat but if you don't have it on they might have like it's might hard to um stick it on because it might peel off or it's might hard for you to place it flat on and scrap on the base so you can use the stickers butterfly super cute right there i like that looks so cute and then we have this one so now if you add me with this top coat and then you are as good to go here for 60 seconds you're good to go like you can put another butterflies here which is like this you know if you want to get like another butterflies and then you top coat and you're good to go So no, well, you can, if you want, you can do some crystals on it, some crystal along, and then that's it. You don't want anything, just top coat and key for 60 seconds, you are absolutely good to go. So a little crystal opal or no at all, looks super cute. Maybe I should put one, two, and three. Bam. Done. Crystal, or is that good for now? Let's see. We're probably doing a little crystal, just a little bit. Not much. I mean, not many. So just. And also, if I'm doing a crystal, I am going to have that like really thin coat on tie the nails. Well, it's great because I am actually protecting all that uh, butterfly stickers as well. And don't forget to have like no white top coat. Ah, yes. Now you want those butterflies. You will love this. I love this butterfly stickers. It's so vibrant. All right. And it's just so cute. Perfect for this one. Without perfect one. All right. So let's go in with just a couple of... um. Our super cute symbol, like a small opal, small white opal. I'm gonna use this probably size SS um three only, or SS four. Okay. 
and just randomly pick because they are coming different colors I mean the um, backgrounds so beautiful you still don't want it used to busy I think it's good. See, if you like it, was going to gear for sixty seconds. Hi, Debbie. How are you? So good to see you. Happy Saturday, everyone. Oh my god, this one is so stunning. It's similar to this, and then you can do like a crystal placement. After we're done with second nails, then we're gonna do that. How about that? The so second nails I'm gonna do is instead of weaver gels, I'm going to do draw some veins for you. I have a nice on this sticker, it's super cute, like a B team. Oh, it's cute. It's gonna be perfect for that. That's good, Debbie. I'm doing well. Thank you, thank you, Debbie. Great. Ta da! Hold on, where it is. Maybe gonna come tomorrow. That's it. That is the nail. See how fun and simple easy it is? And then we're gonna put the uh, precision glue gels. Did you do a we'll precision glue? Huh? We'll do a precision glue and later. Hold on. Hi, Mama Vic. How are you? Can you read the comment? Hi, Pluras on Facebook. Welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Saturday, everyone. So you can see that how I'm using the backgrounds and it changed the colors of what you are going to. I'm using the same four colors on the palettes that I use. Um, but it changing is change the colors depends on what color background you have. So the ones I have in the backgrounds and this is a baby blue. Number 23. And then, hi May, how are you? And then this one is number 19 is a light nude. And this one is number 22. I think number tw number two, I think. Number two is the uh, Young Peach. So it's whatever colors is you do on the background, it will make this effect and changing it different. It looks so cool though. Absolutely adore it. All right, so let me go into doing this one. I'm really having fun with that one. All right, so I need some more is um, Neon's Green. Just a little bit. I am doing well. Thank you, Mama Vic. All right, so on this one, I haven't top coat anything on this one yet. So only I do is just two coat of number 22's is a base nude and keep for 60 seconds between each layer and then now I'm going to using it to pick up number six is aqua and I'm gonna just dab it all right pick a little bit more If you want to be a little bit darker, I mean more, you can absolutely go back and repeating it. Because it's gels on the gel, 
I'm not sure with other gel polish, but with Glitz gel polish, it will definitely bond it so well together. It will suck right in. And then we're moving on the pink. So it doesn't matter, do not afraid of. You can dab in any edges you want or any is areas you want. Just really gentle touch. I'm just like, just like you are, I don't know how is that, it's like it looks like you are doing your makeup or not. Maybe it's you're like doing it on your, um, it's like when you tap on your foundation. Maybe, okay. Like, um, you're oh, on your yeah. eyeshadow. Is that right? Yeah, you do your foundation and when you start blending out. Blending out when you do contour. It is. It's pretty already. Hey, little firecracker, how are you? Hi, Karina's on Facebook. Hi, Pura's on Facebook. Hello, on Facebook watching. I hope you all have a fabulous Saturday. Hi, Lily. My sweet Lily is watching as well. So now if you, if you, you can always go back and then do more. But then now I'm going to move into yellow. Where's my yellow spot right here? And you can blend the yellows. And then the pink. Add more yellow. Why so quiet? Because I'm not talking, I'm sorry. And then, now you add some green. How easy it is, it's so fun, right? There's a green, oh I know. Really enjoying this one. I can feel like I'm doing an eyeshadow right now. Green. If happy with this, we are going to definitely cure this. Oh, thanks so much, Jasmine. I'm so glad you like it. It cure really quick. And just from a gel polish to the gel polish. And put it on the sides right here because we are going to do some is like a veining a little bit if you would like to. On this one, I didn't put the black on. So if you want to do really deep like um, is looks is a dimension, you add a little bit of a gel, uh, gel painting, which is uh, the black colors. I do a darker colors. Just really, really thin, 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 thin um, vein. And you can add it on. Really soft touch. Okay. And then. this up don't need a lot if you can definitely okay I think I'm good here flash gear 30 seconds and I'm using my gel painting in the bottles black colors looking for And then I am uh, going to using is golden touch gel painting just in case that you want just um, the kind of tie dyes or marble looks or however you feel like you can definitely put some veins on I love the golden touch in the jars because it gets so uh, pigmented and it's so like 
So I'm at to go in there. You can see that it doesn't, it still have the hint in black in there. But it will not make the black a two a black that it will taking away from that uh, super cute and pretty color that we did. Just getting a little bit. And then we are just going to here. Here for 60 seconds. Hey, thank you, Dom. All right. I'm just going to have to work. So I'm going to put some crystals on that. And then we are good to go. How easy it is. Okay, so now if you are have to vote from one to ten, how easy do you think is this one is? Because if you are having that sponge right in front of you and you're doing it, you will trust me, you're gonna do it enjoying it so much and you don't think it's difficult at all. Super a uh, super easy. This is how you do with the uh, regular I mean glitch gel polish. I mean I'm talking about liquid and powder, but we're doing a gel polish right now. And it's a cool, the same colors, four colors that we did, right? But if you pick a different backgrounds, it will give you a different um, effects. So I'm using the same four colors right here. And the same thing with this is I did four colors in four different color backgrounds. It gives us four different look. Ta-da! All right, so now crystal placement on this one probably is gonna be this really a cute hint one, and then if you want dramatics, hi nail by Marsh. All right, all right, hold on, I didn't have. And you're gonna do crystal, you said? Yes. The chromes on this one, yes. If you don't want, if you don't want any veins on yet, put the chrome on. It's gonna look so stunning. If that what I read, I read like. Uh, chromes or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, yep, they say it would be really pretty with chrome. Yes, oh my god, Jasmine, you should try that because I want to see it. So, top on the colors after I kiss 60 seconds, I am using is condensed glue gels. The first step from ours is three step methods crystal placements. Don't do it too thick, just enough. If you are feeling like your crystal is floating, is by Top coat and condensed glue gels, you probably might have liked a little bit more uh, too much top coat. So, just um, try it again and then you will see that's not going to be too much, too little. All right, hold on. When I pick them right here. Thank you, Lily, for sharing. Lily, you're always sharing it. So I'm going to pull my, let me show you what I got right here. I have it from my uh, transcended crystal kits and number, kits number one and number two. This is so beautiful. But I'm going to do it right here. Maybe I shouldn't start cover the veins. Look at some beads, babe. Mm -hmm. And I'm just getting my like opal. You can do AB or you can do others. Um, colors look so gorgeous. So it's just like it happened that I'm doing the super cute opal right here. Thank you, Lily. Ah, uh, hey, easy. Okay. 
Thank you, Lily. You drive home safe, yeah? See you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Try safe, Lily. Thank you, boss, man. Thank you, boss. Bye, Lily. So you can pick up more than one beads using your uh, crystal pickers. Or look at how I pick it for them at the same time. And don't worry, because this one you're going to do is some cute random on this. You are going to just place it right next to where you want. And do not worry, because we are going to um, kind of adjusting it and... using the dot tool I try not to destroy all the veins that we've been create because you're only gonna say next day you cover everything I don't know I can't help it because I always do that though if you notice that and then after I done and look at the comments and say, oh Lizzie don't do it but I already did it girl don't do it don't do it and then I did it. I feel like I've ignored the comment, but I didn't see until I finished. <laughs> I feel so bad. I said, oh, I should look. But then I keep doing it because I'm really in my own words created. It's fun, a crystal placement. And I didn't even see the comments until I finish. It's kind of a... Um... So you can kind of uh, adjusting it, twist it, however you want, you enjoying it. It doesn't have to be a certain way because basically I want to create the look. It's like a natural look like you are having your is marble, marbles. You can't force it to be the way you want it. You can always like try to uh, make it look natural, but it's not going to be like a straight line or straight design <laughs> hi Ash how are you happy Saturday all right so thank you so much everyone for tuning in I'm feeling so much better today I'm doing great thank you just in case you're asking and I hope you are doing well as well Right, I'm just adding a little bit. I say a little bit, probably maybe more than once. That's it. More? No, that's it. Well, oh, this one is too lonely though. No. Should I do? Maybe I should leave it alone. Okay. Hi, Cookie Nookie. How are you? Ta da wipe off the excess. Alright, key for 60 seconds. Wow, we did the two beautiful nails with this. And the reason I was sharing it too now because I want to see show you the different effects when you're doing the same. I did if you're just tuning in, you missed earlier, don't worry. I say I will go into save. I am going to save the video for you, but it's really cool and stunning about you doing the same colors on that sponge it created as a tie dyes and it's like marble look or tie dyes or what what is um watercolors what jasmine say watercolors doesn't matter but you have four colors and it's give you a different um effects if you're using a different background and i'm not sure if you're using other gel polish with our gel polish together but it would glitz on the glitz definitely it was blending so well so stunning thank you dom so i have two nails should i do a dramatic crystal applications placements on that too or yes or no no it means that top coat top top coat two of them and then we are good to go and i will take a pictures and do a story times and reels but if you say yes i'm gonna like bam you got it i'm gonna do this one and Let me, let me wipe off this residues of. Yes, or even the stained glasses. You are absolutely right. You know, keep in mind, I'm using a bright colors. You can do, say, it's like 28 colors from glitz. So you can do any colors. You can do it like, 
You can be using bubble gums. You can be using the um, white color as well. It's gonna even like oh, that's gonna be good. Was doing a cover of um, French ombre, baby boomer. You can do fancy blue. You can do is mangoes. You can do um, neon orange. I didn't use orange on this one. Oh, the orange is gonna be so cool and vibrant. So like a bam right <laughs> you are absolutely right jasmine okay so yes or no of course yes <laughs> may sure we can do that all right, I have a nice on this. I'm gonna do this cute design for you. Okay, so now start with really simple as uh, condensed glue gels. We are going to do all precision glues at once after we finish with the fourth nails. Really a thin coat of condensed glue gels. I'll anti the nails and floating the top coat on the top of Ankia condensed glue gels. Hi, April, how are you? Hey, thank you so much, Mars. I know it's just so cute for is um, spring times. Perfect, perfect. This one I did the same thing, similar, and I did it with um, Stickers, I did butterfly stickers and weaver gels. I did using, um, what is that the name of the aqua? The weaver gel name? Mm. Turquoise. And Turquoise, oh, yes. Sorry. I was like, wait. So I'm not using this super cute weaver rose from Transcended Crystals. Using my this that one is sticky. So I am using this kind of a mix of all opals between white, pink blue and green so now if you don't want any uh, beads on absolutely leave it alone after you apply here for 60 seconds and then you are doing precision glue and you're good to go but if you want to add like beads on you make it look like a fun jewelry you can absolutely achieve that look you know I'm gonna add just a little bit of a uh, pink opal and then I'm gonna put some beads on it I, I miss a lot of uh, uh, comment. So can you help me? Yeah. They've just been chatting about where they from. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Just make, make sure that I don't miss anyone's comments. So I'm go ahead and place the beads. Just using my crystal pickers and place them between each little super adorable cuties like opal. And then We got it really good. I have 
happy with this. We are going to here for 60 seconds. Wipe it off first. On the end and on the side to keep the shape nice and precise. I'm gonna put the top coat later. I mean, precision glue later. Ta da! Bam! <laughs> Thank you so much, Jasmine. Yes, Nays is a pink opal and a blue opal. So it's really cool now, so you have it in a big pack. So, more for your money. I'm so excited because it's a lot of more. Why, well, if you want the crystal jar, I think you can, but we want to make sure you have so lots. So then you have so much to work with, and I'm so obsessed with that. So condensed glue gels again, which is first step. And if you're seeing the second step is condensed glue gels, and the second step is um, no wipe top coat. So I am applying on and tie the nails. And make sure you close this so you won't scare and accidentally it was cure. Sweet pea, hello, how are you? And I'm going to apply the no white top coat on the top. This is the second step on ours. It's three step method crystal placement. I was like looking at my nails today. So my gosh, I mean almost two weeks, two weeks. My nails is I'm working a lot. And I'm staying at it and I still have every single pieces including like beads on my nails. This 3D handcrafted flowers got a lot of beat up but it's still there. Alright, so let's get this super adorable. I don't want anything else. That's it. You can do it the other way, like upside down. Doesn't matter whatever you want. You can definitely want to get some quick frames right there. Bring it up right there, and I'm going to add the blue. You, this is the styles that I like to mix more than just just uh, one color so I did like white opals center piece and then I did um, blue and I use pink you can remain this is one color because you know what the opal is so nice and a soft look so it doesn't matter it's, you can do four colors at once all you can do is like one colors it's really tough to you and your clients. Sometimes clients like all white opals only. Or you might like only white opal, you know? So do what you like. There you go. There is the white one right there. And continue to put the beads on. You don't want, as I said, 
and you can definitely put it right here. Put the pink and then the blue. Put the beats on. Something is stuck in there. One more beat on this one. And I usually do three beats when I finish the designs, either on the top of the nails or is on the end of the tips thank you Whitney oh my god mama Vic did that's your dinner oh my god it's really delicious bet you a really good cook I know you're a good cook because you told us you can really cook. You should do a cooking uh, classes, Mama Vic. People will love it. And then the thing, the super cute frame. On this side. Hey, Nene. Hey, Chujanese. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope you all have an amazing Saturday. Whether you are able to get out there or you're at home with your family. Enjoy your dinner or sit in your couch and take it easy. And welcome, welcome, and thank you so much for tuning in and even stop by and say hi to me. It means a lot. I hope you're enjoying it. I really like it. You know what? I'm just waiting for you to say yes, and then I say bam. But at least we have one uh, fancy one hour, four of them. We did it! We did it! We did it! I'm gonna get a piece of papers, just fold really smaller, and wipe it off on this side before I am going to gear. Ta -da. All right, here's a look. Beauty. Hello, Lina. It's a great question. 
Thank you so much for bringing up question. So if you are doing your matte top coat, what you do, you are, because when you do the techniques, you are floating your top coat on the top of your condensed wool gels. Therefore, if you're doing it, you're doing it with a matte top coat, just floating this matte top coat on the top of your condensed wool gels. And then you can place your crystals the same, like the same with the procedure we share with you. And make sure that you don't like brush and drag all of your condensed wool gel off. Um, that way is make your your matte top coat and your condensed glue gel gonna be contaminated so you make sure you're floating on the top yes want to move this side on this side and then we are going to do precision glue on all of them Here is uh, four nails we did today. Well, I did two nails to show you. I love that how I did two background because I want to save that it's two background. It gives you a two different effects. And then this is the one that I did a different background, which is I did using this one, the backgrounds, before I use all of this gel polish to create it kind of a tie dyes marble looks, or watercolors. However you are calling this so beautiful. I using a number 19s and number two which is young peach you see how two different and but I using the same colors for the um, marble looks or tie-dye looks I didn't using anything different I used the same four colors but then for four different backgrounds so I did this one and this is number 22 and this one's number right here this i did the first one do you see the background it's number 22 second one number 23 number 22 is um the is this base nude number 23 is uh, baby blue number 19 it is light nude and number two it is young peach so you can see that is all four colors is give you different effects. Um, I'm using the same four colors of the gel polish, which is number six, aqua, number 11, neon pink, and number 15, yellow sun, and number 10 is neon green. And it's give it so many different cool effects. So that's give you an idea of if you want to do your nails in any different shade. And also the four colors on the top, you can do different colors too. You know, you can do like a fancy blue, mangoes, and um, a deeper color, which is peachy, which is like a really kind of a peachy looks. And then you can do with number 18, however you would like. All you can do is forest uh, green. And then you can use um, the, what color other we have it there? We can use forest green and you can also using is a number 12, a deep blue. So however you would like. Precision. All right, precision glue gels. Let's move to precision glue gels. And all you need is really a little, and then make sure you don't throw this red cap away. You do need it to keep your precision glue last, and it actually is protect so well, prevent from um, spilling. So I would definitely go and check to make sure. There's no scratchy. If you're scratchy, you are feeling it right away. You can squeeze a little bit. That how much you need. And then you are going to seal all the beads. Try not to seal on the top of the crystal because you are going to destroy the whole entire the, the cut and the shy, the sparkle of the crystal. So just on uh, the top of the beads, metal bead to keep it from prevent from getting tarnished but not on the top of the crystals, but you can use it on the edges, on the sides, so then that way you can protect the uh, crystals from catching on the hair or on the fabric or anything. You could catch anything. So with this is really is SS um, six, four and six, five, 
I think five and six. And it is a small enough, and you know what is the condensed blue gels and no white top coat. It does all the works for me, which is it keep and it grab the base of the smaller crystals on. So therefore, it's staying really nice. Here is the gear this quick. Hi, Nabila, how are you? I have um. The backgrounds that I did, I did it earlier, it's just not too long ago. So when, after we finish the live videos, I am going to save it. So you can definitely watch the replays. We just finished that one. Definitely, I will save the video for you. So then you can rewatch how I created it. It's so simple, easy, I'm using the sponge. That how I created using all four color of glitz. So I will save the videos after we finish and you definitely can watch them and you can access to them 24 seven. So I did using uh, this four colors to create this fun backgrounds. So it's so simple and easy. Um, Nabila, I think Nabila, yeah, that's awesome. So you can definitely watch them. That how I create that look. So we are going to do again, I always seal the top of my beads, my frame. And make sure they are the edges are sealed. When you feel scratchy, you want to definitely is seal it. And I don't squeeze it out until I feel it. So when I check it like this, you see that I don't squeeze anything. But if I feel scratchy, like a little scratchy, right here I feel it. Then I am going to squeeze a little bit. Each time you use as much. You don't use a lot, a little go a long way. You don't want to flood your crystal, definitely. And we are going to cure for 60 seconds. Hey, Sharenda, how are you? Happy Saturday. I know you've been busy, busy working. Keep up the good work, Sharenda. Hard works always pay off, babe. Oh my God, it's so cute. Sharenda, thank you. If you are watching from the beginning, we did really cool, super easy, simple, create the background. I am promise it's easiest that I did a cool background on earth. It's super. And this one is on the top of young, um, young peach number two background. So cool. Hi. Colorina, hello, beauty by Colorina. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so. Ah, oh, this ha oh, that's awesome, Dom. I can't wait. This is so easy. Look, I use this, but uh, for your information, do not let your husband come around when you're doing this nail art because um, I don't know yours, but mine will probably destroy this because. You have to see my face when he did it not uh, too long ago, just right before I get started with the live videos. And he was, oh, that looks so cool, babe. I said, thanks. And then he said, oh, he said, can you clean this uh, hat like this one? I said, I don't think so. I doubt you can do alcohol and clean it. But because if you put water and alcohol, it's going to expanding it. So guess what? He said, okay, he was like, I think he was so excited. He said, okay, I'm gonna get this off. Guess what? He ripped her entire head off. And he looked like, how can you change it? Uh, you gotta see my face at that time. He destroyed her entire, I just have two colors on it. I suppose have four. He destroyed it. And he gave it to me <laughs> with the head cut off. And he's like, tell everybody, oh, it's not me, he's run away. He said, oh, it's not me. I didn't know it. And he's ran away. So, <laughs> that's why you see this. He destroyed all our tithing. When I get ready for a live video. Do not let your husband. Well, that's in case it's happened to me. But I was warning all of you. I don't know if you can use this. But it's going to be hard. So, a super cute sponge. It's so adorable. Super simple, 
Um, and then it's in one pack. It comes with like four refill. It has two. Uh, he broke one. So. Two and four. So you have six. And then each, each color you don't have to do. Um, you don't have to do one sponge for each color. You can do it a little spot. The head is big enough, you can do little spots. And you can get that. And I did use this Weaver Jow's color. You just change them. Yes. Nabila, you just change them. Yes, Vanessa, how are you? All right, so I'm using this super cute Weaver Gels and uh, Purple Touch and Turquoise. It's so simple, right? It's just so much fun to create it. And I did it in like no time, I promise. You are very welcome. Awesome. So I'm so excited today because we did this so much fun and super stunning and easy. Hold on. This one's supposed to be here. Da -da. Ah, thank you so much, Nabila. It's just so fun and it's so stunning. I'm so enjoying it tonight with everyone. Thank you, China. Thank you, Nabila. Thank Vanessa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dom. Let me see. I'm going to say thanks to all of you. Thank you, Sharinda, babe. Thank you, China. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Shay. Thanks, Mama Vic. Thank you, Corey. Thanks so much, Jasmine. I'm so glad you like it this well. Nail by Sandy. Thank you. Luxury tips by May. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. A lot of kisses to your baby. Thank you, Whitney. Cece. Cece, I can see you now. As looks back at all the comments. Hope you're still there. Hi. Thank you so much, more. Thank you, April. Hi, April. So hope you are still there because I was looking down. I didn't see everybody coming in. Um, hi, Michelle. Thanks so much, Michelle. I hope I say it right. And Vanessa, Sweet Pea, thank you so much. Colorina, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Snuggles, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Our lips, nails, thank you so much, everyone from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, I am going to save the video for all of you, for all glitz lover or nails lover, beginner nail tech, advanced nail tech. I love you all and I really appreciate it. You are like stopping by, join me sometimes, and I have. I'm counting it, it's like over a thousand uh, video. Definitely, I save it all there for you. I hope some of my footers were able to help you, were able to support you throughout your journeys. Either, either you will love doing your nails yourself, or you are the nail tech, or thinking to be a nail tech, or thinking to do something fun with the nails, or doing a business with the press on nails, or however you're doing it. I hope you're really enjoying it, as I always enjoy your contents. And thank you, thank you so much for the love and support for the past three years. We are going strong and continue to support every single one of you. So hope each of you really like enjoy the videos that I create. I know it's just all the videos, how you asking, and then we have a lot of questions to asking how I, how do I, how like, what is the question that I'm trying to remember? 
um, how can I have a lot of idea to create a content every single day? Be honest. I have to be honest with you that um, is I don't have to think it too hard. Just like thinking how I really want to tune in to a live video with all of you. I always try to get not trying. I think it's just not trying. I just like really enjoying it and it just come automatically out from my heart and my brain it just keep one after another so as something i could be like doing it 10 nails or even or more nails and i could sit all day long if you give me some waters and something to snack on or even i don't even snack i just drink some water or some of you know something drink or coffee or whatever or frappuccinos and i can create this all cool different content for you just because i loving it so much and I enjoying it and I think um, probably back then when I start with my careers I didn't have much support um, I didn't have uh, I didn't have so much support so I always like is really desire to learn so much and to absorbing soaking so much that I can't back then it was back 20 years ago it doesn't have much of a lot of fun nail arts a lot of good products my crystal will keep falling off and then it looks so horrible that I really want to have really cute beautiful gorgeous dramatic cute nails with crystals but then all crystal will keep falling off they're not stay in one place and it's a lot it's just it's just just a lot of like a cool thing that I tried to do but I couldn't achieve it because of you know a limitation of a good quality a good like a quality products so so when I create a lot of videos for last for four years for last four years so it's really it helped well before the crystal a lot of crystal placement was a video with dipping and all other with crystal placement as well but then um, it's all the videos that it will really it leading me to not well not only a passion of loving in the nail industry is also is really get me really into it, and I love it so much and I keep created so many contents I don't know it's every day, if I have time I can could go live more than just one time all day long I can create so many contents for you. Uh, if I show you a list of how many content I am going to create it, then probably you're gonna, oh my goodness, Nancy, you're crazy. Uh, that's the same thing with Vicky, only tell me, but I don't know where's that come from. It just come from my heart, I guess. Just if I say it that way. So it just really want you all to um, able to get a lot out of it. I want every single of you to be successful and no matter what the way you doing you can be a beginner nail tech or going to be a nail technician or is advanced nail tech or as really veterans nail tech and then want to take your business to the next level for crystal placement so i hope you're enjoying it that's all i want to say is from bottom of my heart um and i can't and I can't um, wait to see you in the next live video. Thank you so much, everyone. So make sure you take good care of yourself. And don't forget, it's on Monday. Our Velvety Gel is launching. And I'm seeing it. And I can't wait because our team will definitely going to showcase and do all the beautiful fun with Velvety Jowls. Velvety Jowls is gonna be something is definitely a game changer. It's make it so much easier for a lot of nail tech. So I can't wait. Thank you so much, Dom. Thank you, Dom. Thank you so much, April. Yes, we'll all keep up the good work, keep going. Yeah, Serena, I can't wait. Thank you so much. Yes, April 12th, Monday, April 12th, that is Velvety launching. you able to purchase Velvety. I can't wait because we can show you how to do so many different cool nails. A combinations also showing you really stunning with doing your baby boomers nails in a different way and encapsulate oh my god and so on and so forth i can't wait and it incorporates with our gel polish to create so stunning a different final looks so uh, stay tuned 
and I can't wait to see you in the next live video. So I'm not sure is our team any of us going live later. Uh, stay tuned. So make sure you follow all of them. We have here is um, Hey Dom, do my nails. Follow her. Don't forget, she's created stunning, stunning is content from all different variety of products. And China Nail, she's one of ours, is a brand new brand ambassador. We're so happy to have her in the team. Is absolutely talented. Is BA. She created so many beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looks with crystal placement and so many others. And we have Sharenda here. Sharenda is just the bomb. Sharenda created so many cool different things from liquid and powder to a gel polish and crystal placements and fusioning. The bomb. The bomb.com. <laughs> Sharenda. And we have Nyx. It's one of our brand new brand ambassador too. She's so, so good. She's really like is... um doing it stunning and cool with a lot of different cool products and designs so stay tuned and follow all of them we have mika at mika do nails she is really really good i remember her with three years ago when she was asking us and the chit show we're learning all different techniques and then she's created and she learned so much from crystal placements and dragon scales it's so many it's so amazing was watching all of them growing as myself growing with them as well and we have uh Bra brazil's at Ballis nails my gosh, she's did really dope, really gorgeous nails. Make sure you follow all of their page with all content. And we have Isabel at Skillmatic Nails. She is, is stunning, creates a lot of really unique look. And if you haven't got chance to watching her tutorials, she did one of really cool baby mix jars for the contest. It's really stunning with uh, a lot of cool and negative space on the nails and also it's a lot of uniques that she engraved it out from the nails and we have of course our lead educator vicky jensen she's come up with a lot of cool different details she probably go live later uh, to show us some really stunning cool things that we are going to i think using with fusioning so i can't wait and um i think i got all of us so that is part of our VA, but I got to watch so many of you. I see Ash with your beautiful work. I see Shay with your beautiful work. I see Mama Vic. And I see um, Danny work as well. I see a lot of your works. I see CC work. If you CC, you are here. And I see um, a lot of you I got an opportunity to see. And Mary, keep up the good work. Whitney is really good too. I see that. Beautiful. And May, keep up the good work, Nays. I can't wait to see a beautiful creation. Many, many more. So I hope I uh, catch everyone. Oh, yes. Mika been around for a while. Mika's really good at first. And then, you know, it's just amazing how I got to is... Um, to see all of us progress, so. <laughs> oh, you ladies, you are all unique in your own different way, so don't forget that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. I have such another great times. I don't know which one is your number one, two, three, four. Which one is your faith nails? I have no ideas, but I get an idea. I don't know. I like them all four, but I don't know which one you're going to pick. I like this too. Well, because probably have more crystals, but you want really like, um, certificate nails, like really nice, simple. And then this two, the two are not. This one is just after you say, yes, I can put some really gorgeous crystal on. And then I say, yes. One, two, three, four. More, more to come, bigger and better for us. Thank you, Shay. Third one, the third one. This one, is that cute? So stunning, right, China? I'm so happy. Brazil, are you there? Oh, she might left me. 
So if she's there, she can show us her beautiful nails that she's created. The fourth, I know, the fourth one at first I created, I love it. It's so cool and stunning. So cool. All four, but have to pick one at three. I know, I like them all. I like them all. I can't choose. <laughs> I'm with you, Nay. <laughs> I get you. I get you either. So I just ask because I want to see what your faith. But I can't pick the faith. I can't pick my faith. The faith is, hi, Adela. How are you from Facebook? Thank you so much for tuning in. So I hope you're enjoying it tonight as I always, always enjoying it with you. Thank you so much, Sharenda. I can't wait to see you in the next live video and stay tuned for our amazing brand ambassador team. They're going to show you case all different beautiful looks with the velvety gels. April, I can't wait to share with you a lot with velvety gels. And thank you so much for all of you amazing love and support. We wouldn't be here without you. So we want to make sure we let you know from the bottom of our heart. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next live video. If you have questions how you can able to create this look, um, definitely I will save the video so then you can watch them after um, I save it and I will upload it. And so you can definitely be watching them from the first part, how we create all cool tie-dye look. So I will see you. Yes, Jirenda, Dom, China. Brazil, Nick, Vicky, Mika, Isabel, see you tomorrow for uh, trainings. Have a good night, lady. Bye-bye.